For the most part, though, the candidates are moving on from Iowa. Campaigns are on the trail in New Hampshire today. They're making that one final push before the state's primary election tomorrow. We go to CBS News correspondent Johnny Fernandez live in New York this morning as the candidates make that last push for votes. Johnny. Yeah, good morning, Jason. Well, they crisscrossed throughout New Hampshire over the week and ahead of, ahead of tomorrow's first in the nation primary. And despite the freezing temperatures, it did not stop voters from heading out to learn more about the candidates. Now, we do know that the latest CBS News tracker poll shows Senator Bernie Sanders leading in New Hampshire with a 29% support. Now, close behind him, Pete Buttigieg with a 25% support. Now, many of his recent gains come at the expense of Joe Biden, who recently released an ad mocking Buttigieg's accomplishment as mayor of South Bend, Indiana. Now, we also know that President Trump will be in New Hampshire tonight to rally his supporters. Now, experts predict that more people will vote in this primary compared to 2016. Jason. Uh, also pretty big health news this morning, a new study out, Johnny, that could really change how we vaccinate for the human papillomavirus. What are, what are they saying about that? Yeah, Jason, well, new research from the University of Texas finds a single dose of the HPV vaccine may be effective in preventing cerv cervical cancer. Now, the CDC says boys and girls under 15 uh, get two doses to protect against the HPV virus. And the study also shows that the impact of vaccinating at younger ages uh, is something that they should look into in, it la in its last uh, long-term prevention against cervical cancer. Jason? Yeah, that'd be a big development. My uh, son both got the double dose, but you think if you could do a single single dose of that, that would be very effective in getting more people to get that vaccine. Big night in entertainment. I was watching the Academy Awards last night. They went without a host, uh, but uh, the best picture winner has a lot of people talking this morning. Yeah, well, Jason, Hollywood's big night did not disappoint. The 92nd Annual Academy Awards was filled with historic wins, shocking upsets, and some controversies. Now, we start with uh, Janelle Monet opened the show with a musical number, taking a swipe at the lack of female nominees for Best Director. Now, former host Steve Martin and Chris Rock also called out the Academy for this year's lack of diversity among the acting categories. Now, let's talk a little bit about the winners. We don't know. We know that Paris beat out war, uh, the World War I drama 1912, becoming the first foreign language film to win Best Picture in the award's 92-year history. We also know that Renee Zellweger won Best Actress for Judy, while Joaquin Phoenix took home Best Actor for Joker. Jason. Very good. Johnny Fernandez live in New York this morning. Thanks, Johnny. Some good news.